Hi everybody, Good21 back with another video. And this is sort of like the final follow-up video to a video I've had on my YouTube channel for uh, since about 2014. Uh, during that time, I had posted a video uh, basically trying to solve an issue in Sony Vegas where GB Acceleration was just absolutely just crashing and it was completely unstable and it was just such a pain to work with. And what I thought I had discovered was installing the, uh, I think it was the NVIDIA uh, CUDA toolkit, thinking that, you know, oh, well, it's using, it's using NVIDIA graphics card, it's using, maybe it might need this toolkit to work, stuff like that. And for a while, it kind of worked. But then I went back to the same issue where GB Acceleration was just not working. There was a lot of crashes and stuff. And you guys have posted a lot of comments about it. You've been asking me and asking me, you know, why doesn't this work? Why doesn't that work? All this kind of stuff and, and everything. A lot of you have posted some really interesting information. One of them being that uh, NVIDIA changed their API from one type of format, and I don't remember the name of it. It was a very long format, but I'll put a screenshot right about now so you guys can see that specific comment. Uh, another person posted about how that certain rendering formats will handle uh, using CUDA rendering versus other stuff like that. Well, today I finally decided, you know what? I'm just going to call Sony and I'm going to finally just ask about this because I want to know too. I want to keep using Sony Vegas. I want to know what their problem is, why they haven't done anything about it. So let me tell a story here. So I started first by trying to call Sony Creative Software and there was absolutely no number on the website whatsoever. I only had one singular number that, uh, that basically um, I thought was a number for their tech support. It turned out it actually went to their warranty department now, which is interesting. They've apparently partnered with a different company for to handle their warranties and sales information and stuff, which is kind of weird. And the guy that I talked to, he was really, really nice, but he said, you know, I don't exactly handle that particular area of, uh, of Sony. We're just a partner company with Sony Creative Software. And Sony Creative Software is, of course, a subdivision of Sony. Uh, or at least that's what I think it is. So I told him of all the issues I had. He said, okay, you know, I'll, I'll take notes of these. I'll pass it down as far as I can get it to go. And I said to him, you know, I've been sort of an advocate for getting this issue fixed because I've had, you know, mentioned about the video and you guys commenting and watching it and stuff like that. And he appreciated the feedback, but then he gave me the number for, for Sony. So I was like, okay, fine, you know, go around Robin Hood's bar and fine, I'll just go, I'll go call Sony. So I called Sony and I was like, you know, hey, I'm calling about this software. This is the issue I'm trying to have. You know, can you please get me to your to your software division? I got bumped around at least like six or seven times, and Sony support is absolutely like awful. Nobody knew what they were talking what they were talking about. Nobody knew nobody knew what I was talking about. They didn't know what I wanted. I was getting bumped around. It was ridiculous. And finally, it took me having to look up Sony on the Better Bit Better Business Bureau's website for me to finally find a number that took me to a representative who was part of Sony Creative Software. So I called the guy and I was like, hey, this is the issues I'm having, these are the comments I'm getting, um, this is what I have been experiencing, this is what other users have been experiencing, and I actually wrote down, I have on my screen here, I wrote down what the answers that he gave me. So he said the following, he said, Sony recommends that users not use GPU acceleration for preview render. Uh, they found it was actually slower process, uh, processing and took longer to render uh, when it was, when basically it was better to use uh, CPU encoding because it had less issues, less prone, prone to failure and crashing as some of you guys have experienced and myself included. Then I had asked him about the using main concept 2 to render versus using avc.mp4 to render. And he basically said to me that the main concept 2 is actually a licensed encoder that's built into Sony Vegas. And when we buy the software, we essentially are buying a license to that specific uh, encoder, which is main concept 2, which has a supported CUDA rendering, but is significantly slower, uh, which I mentioned to him about this. Uh, when I was asking about the AVC rendering, he said there was actually AVC... Dot .mp4 rendering is actually an in-house, uh, Sony in-house built encoder. So it's their encoder and their software to work natively with, obviously, with their software, which would make sense. And then I asked him about how the fact that Sony has not seen any updates in little over like a year, I almost want to say it's almost been like two, three 
I feel like almost five years since Sony has seen an update for anything, let alone stuff like Windows 10, which is currently the most current Windows operating system. And he said to me that they are working on it, but the release date of the next update is to be determined, that he didn't have an, ex an exact release date. So all of this is really, really unfortunate that Sony just hasn't, like, done a whole lot. And to be honest, I was very frank with the guy and I said, look, you know, ultimately we're the ones paying for your paycheck and keeping you guys in business. And we're the consumers and we should have our support and our update. And it's very disappointing. I basically said tech support on you guys' end is absolutely atrocious. I would prefer to have an actual person to talk to. I don't want to have to send an email, blah, 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 all this kind of general consumer ranting stuff. But it's very true. Um, so basically, to help answer everybody who comments and any future comments, guys, just use CPU encoding, completely turn off um, GPU acceleration, don't even bother, uh, turn your preview down to, I guess, you know, if, if you see in the preview window, there's an option that drops down, and then there's like preview options, and then there's submenu, just turn to like preview full or preview best or whatever, and then when you go to render it, then change it down to best full. So that way you're getting the full resolution of your video, the full quality of your video. But for the sake of previewing, you can do best full and it looks absolutely fine. It gets you through the processing and all that kind of stuff. Um, you can use the main concept to rendering um, that has the CUDA option. Although I found that it takes significantly longer. Um, it may add up to like, I might like for instance, I might do a .mp4 and it would take like, oh, <sighs> like 30 minutes give or take on the video whereas the CUDA rendering might take 40 maybe an hour depending on what the video is how much content is in it stuff like that the actual utilization of the GPU will vary because apparently Sony hasn't really done much to build their software around the Mar Maxwell architecture so we're for those of us who are in the 900 series cards we're kind of stuck with what we've got which again is unfortunate but you know we're dealing with the man and this is kind of the, the what we have to deal and what we're subject to so I hope this answers everybody's questions. I know everybody's been asking me, and I've been wondering too. If you have any questions, go ahead, as always, post in the comment section down below. If I feel like there's enough comments, I might make another video talking about this. And I want to say that I am in no way an expert to this. I am just like you guys. I learn as I learn, and I you know, teach as I can, I explain as I can, and that is basically the best I can do for all of you guys. So thank you for watching. And until then, I will just catch you guys later.